Uh, we, we got a live shot to real quick, sure. so we're just going to fire rapid fire. Okay. Three months on campus, what are just your early impressions of the program? Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, this, this place is a sleeping giant, obviously. You guys have been around. Um, you, you know it because you're close to it every single day. But nationally, we're, we continue to emerge. And, you know, we got to get the people in California and New York and Michigan and Minnesota and the Midwest to all watch us. We have, we have a plan to do that. So we're excited. So, you know what? We'll continue to promote our great assets like we are. And, uh, you know, this thing will, will take, a, take, a, take a hold of itself. What's the next couple steps on that plan? So, you know, we're just, we'll continue to talk about our brand and the brand activation of what we're doing and, and, and talk about how our national brand is continuing to emerge. I don't think people quite understand. We're not telling our story. We People here locally understand our story, but I think as we continue to talk about it, we need the national narrative to, to start telling our story for us. And we've got people, we've got the people in place. We've got a national brand coach. We've got some really good personnel. Uh, we've got national brand basketball coach, women's basketball coach. They continue, we're all in the same, but being aligned with the president, the university administration, the board of trustees, our athletic association board, if every Everybody's talking the same way and aligned. That's how you get the message across. Terry, you guys have an announcement today about Boise State game, yeah. uh, obviously on Thursday night. What does that mean for you guys? Talk about getting that the brand out yeah, there. Yeah, the start of college football right there. We are the we are the opening day, so to speak, of college football. Now there might be a game earlier on Saturday, but. The, but Thursday night lights, mm -hmm. prime time, Eastern. We are the opening of college football. That you can't you can't ask for that. So we're asking our our folks to buy the remaining tickets we have left. We have less than 2,500 to go to sell out and to rock that place, man. You know, as as uh, as Eminem says, lose yourself, right? <laughs> yeah. So. 100% yeah. capacity. 100% capacity. How exciting is that? Just to, you, know, you haven't been inside the bounce house at full capacity. Yeah. How exciting is that? Well, I mean, I think it's exactly what we want. I mean, I think, you know, Dr. Cartwright has, an also, has also not experienced the 100% because he got here just uh, uh, about nine months or ten months before I got here. So um, just, you know, I, I know about UCF, and that was one of the reasons why I'm so fortunate to get this job and so excited to be here because I know what, uh, what it's about, the school, the fan base, the city. Uh, and, you know, I just think it's – Filling the bad house with the with, with not having any restrictions is just gets people really more motivated and energized. Terry, you have a lot of stuff this, this a summer. It's coming up. Name, image, and likeness. One of yeah. those. What what do you kind of see on the, on the future of that, and what how you think things will, will be over the next? Well, we'll all start. We're, we're we're prepared. Uh, we have the portals in place and the and the and the uh, processes in place to help our student athletes to achieve that goal. However, what we don't know is, is there's a lot of gray with the NCA right now, so we're learning. So we're prepared to do what we're allowed to do in the state of Florida, and we're going to do that. Um, and uh, we're going to guide our, our students as, as much as we possibly can with the proper compliance, and uh, we're, we're prepared. We just had a we just had a presentation for our head coaches yesterday, and it went really well. And we'll continue to learn, and and, and, and we'll adapt to the evolution of this. And you just signed FAU to a future home and home series, a place that you used to. Yeah. Work. What do you like about that well, series? Or are there more on the horizon? Well, I like I, I like a couple things for the series. Number one, I like it because we needed a game, so that was most important. So uh, not having a game. Was we're still trying to, when I got here, we're still trying to fill 22. Uh, now, my previous place, we had 25 all filled. So we we're still trying to play. So that was the, the fact that they gave us a game, and we either it was either going to have to play an FCS or go or go on the road and play somebody. And it works out well too because staying in the state and playing a game on the, in, in the state, letting your fans in South Florida come watch you and uh, fill the place down at FAU Stadium is is huge. So you know, so and even our fans, what it's two and a half hours from here, and so it's a really good game for us. And and they'll end up you know, getting them come back and in a, in a few years, and you know. Be another really good exciting in-state game. Are you looking for more games? Uh, oh yeah, every single day. <laughs> yes, we're looking for more games. Yeah, we need a lot of games. Yeah. So, so it's like just, you know, a few months since you hired uh, Gus, just the Gus effect. You've seen, you know, his work in recruiting and the transfer portal and the national recognition. Just what's it like just seeing it a few months after Just uh, love seeing him work, love seeing the staff work. Uh, it's been it's been a pleasure to work with 
his entire staff, and uh, you know, it's it's they, they're on it, man. Every single day. I mean, uh, they got their thumb on the pulse of our student athletes, our recruits. Uh, they uh, the, what our players' needs are, uh, the game plan, the X and O's, the schematics, the facilities. So I mean, we're we're, we're right there, and uh, we're doing a little bit of a renovation right now in the current uh, football facility. Uh, it needed to be done, and uh, so he's really excited about that to get ready for June 1st when the floodgates open and people can come back to campus. When you say renovation, this is kind of like you know decoration or what, what, a little bit of everything. You know, uh, painting, lights, carpet, graphics, uh, just really kind of freshened it up. It hasn't been freshened up for a while. We'll, we'll do some other things. We're going to put a new turf in. Uh, it's, the turf was uh, pretty old. Uh, and so we're, we're, we're fresh in that, putting a new turf in, so this is really exciting. Improving facilities will be a big part of your platform in years to come. And it's, it's paramount. Yeah. It's paramount. And, uh, uh, you know, the people are the number one. People are number one. And, you know, but, but having nice uh, facilities is, is number two. And, uh, you know, I always say this all the time, facilities are important because that's the recruiting. Having everyday functionality for your student athletes, plus having a nice recruiting trail is important. That's part of the sizzle. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, there's never been a piece of stone help anybody. People do. But you have to have it. You have to have the facilities. You have to do it. And uh, with the facilities, it's a lot easier to say, you also come here for the people. And we're going to build a program. We're going to continue to build a program. So student athletes come and they know that they, we have their best interests at heart. That they're going, to play, they're going to be competitive on the playing surface. They're going to be competitive in the classroom. They're going to get a job when they leave. They're going to have a career. So they can forever change their circumstances for life. And that's a promise that we, we have to our student athletes. Terry, it's called the Bounce house but it used to be called Spectrum Stadium. Yeah. Is that a priority to get a naming right partner for this season or just I know you have a long list of things you're working on. But. Every piece of real estate that can have a sign on it is a priority <laughs> to build our budget and uh, so we need anybody that's interested in, in sponsoring and partnering with us uh, is a priority. So yes, Has it is a lot of interest? There's there, we've, a lot of transition and yeah there's been some interest but we got we, we, we hired some people, uh, we had lost some people and we hired some people, so we got to get we got to get rolling, and we're grinding it out. We got we got the right people in place to grind it out to, to ask the question to s see if they have interest. And saw Gus, I think he was going after Elon Musk or something, trying to convince Elon yeah. Musk to do. Is that it's good to have your head coach, I guess, well, trying to convince fantastic. people out there. To try to yeah, you got yeah, it's it's great. I love that he's that he's uh, engaging with Elon, and hopefully Elon will be interested <laughs> in doing something. Uh, so uh, you know what, we're so close. Why not? And uh, yes. we've we've got some creative ways we want to try to uh, get in touch with him, and I think Coach Malzahn doing what he did was a great first start. I know you put down some roots in Jonesboro, so yeah. your daughter just graduated. Yeah, you've thank been, you. Yeah, you've been here for a few months yeah. now. Now that things maybe settled down, maybe you're learning the area a little bit better. How are you liking things and living here in the Orlando area? I love it. Uh, my son was actually born in Boca. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we had Florida roots. We think of Florida as a great place, and we always wanted to come back to Florida. I didn't know that this opportunity, so when I got the call, I was very excited about the opportunity and when I got it, obviously accepted. And uh, so, I, yeah, we're happy to be here. We love Florida. Uh, we just love the atmosphere. We love you know, everything about but more importantly, you can love the location. You got all the people that you work with. We got a great president, Dr. Cartwright. We got a great university administration that cares and wants to be innovative, and that fits our personalities. People that want to be innovative, the student body wants to be innovative, the alumni want to be innovative, and you know what? That's what we. That's what we're here to do, and we're going to have to do some innovative things and uh, some things that are a little different to build the program the way we want. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Great. Thank, Thank you. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care.